Right folks, as you have seen from the thumbnail and the thumb title, and somebody said it's not the thumb title to me the other day, I know that it's not a thumb title. It's a title, but I just thought I... It's I'd... not, it's a thumbnail. Yeah, but it's, I say the thumbnail and the thumb title, don't I? Oh. Anyway, um, me and the June Junior have been to Nottingham today. Uh, it's a place that's near Leicester and near Derby, but it's not there. It's over there. You go down the A60, past the Trent Bridge, past the County Ground, past the Forest Ground, or the City Ground it's called, and you go to Nottingham. And uh, I actually went to review some noodles. Isn't that right, doodle? Um, but while we were there, uh, there was a street market kind of thing. I wasn't there June, June. Yeah, was, yeah. June, June bought a bag. And some earrings. And Well, I bought some of the earrings. And... Um, Put my collar down, it's a lot like fucking Eric Canton art. It's all my tits. <laughs> uh, and as we were walking around, we've seen this stall and it sold VikingDrinkingHorns.com. That is a tremendous bag, isn't it? That one there at the bottom looks like it could be Brian. So, anyway. I looked at these drinking horns and um, they look quite good, didn't they, June? They did. In fact, I pointed the stall out. You did point the stall out. So what I did, I bought the bag. I just bought the bag. <laughs> Can I have a bag? Can I have a bag, please? Uh, but no, they do. Uh, they did different sizes uh, at different prices, and um, I had to have one. Well, I asked you. You had to have the big one. I had to have a pint one. Uh, I asked June, and June says yes. Be my guest. Go ahead and get the horn. If only she said that more times, I'd be a happy chappy. So, for what? I'm giving you the horn. Jo June, John, who the fucking hell was John? <laughs> June has given me the horn, and this is it, folks. This is a 600. You've written the label off. I have, yeah. Uh, 600 milliliter drinking horn. Apparently, it was used by the Vikings. How do you stand it on the bar? You don't, do you? I think you have to hold it. <laughs> Could you imagine holding one of these in a pub in town and somebody <laughs> upsetting you and just going, Wee! <laughs> hey! Or fucking clubbing them round the head with it. You are brilliant. Uh, you could wear it, you could buy two. You're right, Gina, it's kind of pop. Or you could have one like that, <laughs> couldn't you? And then another one like that. Why don't you just have one in the front? Like, oh, a, like, a, like, a, like a unicorn. A rhinoceros. <laughs> but didn't in the days of gone by, uh, Vikings, when they damaged their cocks in war, um, to, when they buried them, they put a horn in I don't the... Know. So I've read... Was that the Egyptians? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it was... Because we used to watch that thing, the Vikings. I know. Didn't we? I know the Tudors used to uh, wear cod pieces that were huge. Yeah. Didn't they to make them look like the? A gods. bit like having a Ferrari now or a red car. Do you have a red sports car to emphasise that you have a small cock? Me, I've got a blue van. And what does it say about your big horn? It just says I've got a blue van. Oh, right. It don't mean nothing. Are we going to try it then? Yes. Uh, so Shall I hold is, it while you pour so it? So this is a one pint uh, horn. <laughs> I have washed my horn as well. Because uh, the last thing uh, you want is a dirty horn. The dog's Hello. Here. Hello. The dog's Hello. Here. Can you go? Dog's like. <laughs> fuck are you on the dog saying <laughs> so i thought i've sent uh, the kitty winks up to the uh, co-op and um they've come back with uh pint cans of beer so funny if it come out the other fucking end wood, wouldn't it? <laughs> whoa i've got a froth on Could I have a cup of tea in that? I suppose you could, but it wouldn't be a cup of tea then, would it? It'd be oh, a horn, horn of, of tea. tea. A pint of tea. I think I'll give it too much. Oh no. And there it is. There is my drinking vessel. I might go attacking uh, churches and stuff. It's scared of 
of it. Toodles scared of the horn. <laughs> He's looking at it bemused. He probably thinks we've got a bull in the kitchen. <clears throat> we have. It's called Blue Van Man. <laughs> Go on then, drink out of it. I don't know how to drink out of it. Now that sounds a stupid question. Just put it to your gob and tip it in. Ooh. Go on. <laughs> I think I've got too much froth. <laughs> You'd drink beer out of an old slipper, wouldn't you? It's weird. <laughs> it's like holding a big cornetto. <laughs> The dog's worried by that horn. Are you having a sit, June? I am. Am I tipping it the right way? Oh, the fuck? I don't know. Just like drinking out of a horn. How many horns you <laughs> drank out of? Drinking out of a glass. I meant. Mind you, I suppose in the Viking days, they weren't really bothered about having a big head or froth, were they? Well, they wouldn't be drinking beer out of it, would they? Well, what would they drinking? Fucking Ribena? Water. <laughs> and do you think they got merry and stuff? Drinking... Mead? Evian. Might have. I would have thought, back in the day, the, uh, the Vikings when they were coming over on their long boats. He's sniffing it. Bang her off. Oh look, you have to tip it in like him. Like Tim. Who the fuck's Tim? Like him. You gotta tip it in. You don't sip it, you tip it. I can't do that. You can waste it on. Hey? Don't get it on your lucky England shirt. Are you going to take that up the wanker and ask them to put you a pint in it? Shall I take it up for Ron? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, Ron. What are you doing to your tooth there? I don't know, it's probably, uh, we've just had um, Sloppy Joe's vegetarian style. Look at that. Dale's giving the thumbs up. So there it is. I don't know whether it's... I suppose they, don't, they can't be made to measure a pint, can they? Just depends on the size of your horn, on your ball. Ooh. Is it hollow all the way down? Or yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> How do you wash it? Put it on the, put, yeah, just put it under the tap and wash it, Ging. <coughs> Excuse me. It's that horn. thing over there, that silver thing, that's yeah. the tap. Yeah. That's where that. you wash your... I don't know. Do you want another go, June? Yeah, why not? Have a sip out my horn. No, but... <laughs> it's just froth. No, it ain't. Look! It isn't froth. You have to tip it up. Take your time or it'll be all over your breasts. The dog's really scared of this Yeah, the, dog's, <laughs> the dog is not happy with it. He keeps smelling it and he doesn't like it. Shaking his head. Um, so, um, this would be a lovely novelty gift. Um, if you do want one of these, go to vikingdrinkinghorns.com. Um, I'm not going to lie to you folks, this was £28, right? Um, but it is a novelty thing, isn't it? I think it's a nice little gift, isn't it? What do you think? Would I buy one? No. No, but it's a novelty thing, isn't it? It is. It is. It's, it is. it's like going to Spain and buying um... a donkey. Yeah, not a real, not a real one. one, obviously. One of those a soft one or a sombrero. Yeah, but didn't they come back? Um, and on that's life uh, with the teeth. Esther uh, da, 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 da. That was good. That's life because they used to tell you about things like eating kidney beans. Because if you don't soak kidney beans correctly, it can kill you, can't it? Yes. Or so make therefore, you, very poor, you like. never ate kidney beans. I never you? ate kidney beans because I my last impression of kidney beans was that if you don't soak them, 
Um, they will kill you if you but eat them. But she wasn't talking about the tin. No, she wasn't. But all you, all I can remember is like as a ten-year-old kid, some bird on TV with big teeth saying, "Don't eat kidney beans because they'll fucking kill you." And that's, that's that's what the BBC do to you. The BBC give you the wrong idea. They give you the wrong impression. And uh, they also told you, if you find anybody who's been in a car crash or injured, don't move the head because you'll break the neck. But, um, and, yeah, and that was it. That's life. They said that you go on holiday, didn't you, to Spain, you come back with a donkey. Mm. But all the stuff, all the decor on the donkey was um, stuck in with pins. And they were saying... It our, was. It was stuck in with yeah, pins. Yeah, our yeah. kids... Like you come home with a cuddly toy for your niece or your nephew or perhaps you... Yeah, like the, the, the reins and like the bridle and the yeah, reins. They were the stuck in with pins, but these pins were like yeah. two inch longs, weren't they? And they were moaning because they were giving them to the kids and the kids were pulling them out and sticking them in the fucking cheeks. Weren't yeah. they? Yeah, I remember that now. Yeah, you see? That so now. that's life was good in one way about donkeys from Spain. But it was also bad in another way because it stopped me from eating chilli con carne for about 10 years of my life. Mm. So, you like your horn? I like my horn. I think this is brilliant. I can't, I can't understand why you didn't get a smaller one. Where am I going to store that? Eh? Where am I going to store that? I don't know. I'm just caressing my horn. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bit like you do with mine. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. Uh, right, folks. So, if you do want a drinking, uh, a Viking drinking horn, uh, go to drink a Viking. Dr I'm drinking this fucker upside down. <coughs> VikingDrinkingHorn.com. Go onto their website and get a novelty gift. Um, what do you think, Dylan? I mean, it's only eight quid. Probably a bit of a waste of money. No, oh, right. That's a that's a winner from you then. <laughs> but I think if you're going to spend twenty eight quid, you can probably afford it. And obviously, I'll make the revenue back off what you lot watching this. But. I like it. I think it's I fucking think brilliant. It's so cool. I think what you could do is make yourself some kind of um, wooden stand so that you can just put it in it Pop your horn. and then it's like... I on... put a plant in it. What? Put a plant in it. Put a fucking plant in it? I'll fucking plant one on you. Put ice cream in it. What do you mean ice cream? What do you want to put ice cream in a horn for like this? Like you said, cornetto. You're a dick. Um, <laughs> You could actually make like four legs on a base of wood like with a hole in a it. Well, how the fuck are you going to drink it if it's hanging on a screw? Mm. If you made like four uh, a plat uh, a, a base and then four legs and then another base with a hole in it that you can slip it in. Put a horn holder in your van. Oh, for fuck's sake! What and what good is that? You might want a horn. Hold I've got a horn, it's on the steering wheel. I just press it and it horns. <sighs> Do you see what today's kids are like now? <laughs> I've got two of the fuckers here now talking <laughs> shit. <laughs> fucking unbelievable. What is the world coming to? Putting a horn in a fucking transit van full of beer. You fucking <laughs> dick. Right, I'm going to leave that word. And now, before you start, are you talking to your daughter like that? Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, oh God. <laughs> uh, we'll leave that one there. Thank you very much, folks. Uh, like I say, vikingdrinkinghorns.com. Go get yourself one for 28 quid. I think this would make a perfect, unusual gift uh, for a parent, a grandparent, a brother, or a mother, or a sister, or a stupid daughter who lets you down now and again. Ain't that right, Ginger, coming up with ideas? Where, where the fuck am I going to put this in the transit? I hang it up as a decoration. Why? Where? Where? On the wall. Why would you what want wall? it decorated in the van? <laughs> Make use of me 28 quid. Right, we'll leave that one there. <laughs> Laters.